record straight. You and me, we ain't nothing alike. Let's set the record straight. Those words you say, they hold no way they like. Let's set the record straight. You'll never break the man before. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Wave preview. Now I'm like six days late on this, but I'm sorry. Uh, because again, I went to Martinsville and then after that I came home, went to a friend's house, just got back, and then I went fishing and just got back today. So I've been kind of, no, I think I had like one day out of that like whole week of, well no I didn't because I went to Martinsville for four days. I went there before the race. Of course, I was there for the Xfinity race, cup race, and then we stayed another night, and then we went home that fourth day, and then the next day after that, I went to a friend's house, stayed the night there, came home, now we're here. But anyway, Lionel decided to give us a wave 13, for whatever reason, which I'm fine with a bonus wave, you know, that's that's good by me. It's not a bonus wave, but I mean, it technically is, it just isn't labeled bonus wave and there's not like you know so many cars in this one it's just a normal another wave in 2020 but they named it wave 13 now here's the thing i've seen this wave i've already seen you know what it looks like what the cars are and i mean it's a good wave but we got a little problem we got to talk about with how it was produced so we will get to that here in just a second so here is wave 13 let's take a look Right away, you can notice this mold. Now, you may be wondering, well, what's so bad about it, okay? Uh, if you are not a diecast enthusiast like me and a couple other people I know are, um, this wave is good, right? But uh, it's just, if you don't see it, if you don't see it, you really should. Here's, ooh, I just noticed something, too. Those spoilers look super short. Wow, that's even, that's even worse. I didn't even notice that. So, okay, we'll talk about that, too. This is the Eric Jones 2021 U.S. Air Force or Special Warfare. Great scheme. Fantastic scheme. I'm so glad this is being made. It is being made in the Gold Series, so I'm definitely skipping this one. To pick it up in the gold series. Now you may wonder, or not really wonder, but you may notice. First things first, boom, look at that interior. Black. Awesome, right? Uh, yeah, that's good that the interior is black because that's more of a uh, gold series quality. But at the same time, it's on the PTC mold. Now if you don't know what a PTC mold is, take a look at this car right here on your screen. The 43, right? Here is how it is supposed to look. It's a different car, but like... You can take a look at the wheels. They kind of flip back and forth here. But, I mean, you can see, like, for example, I'll, I'll, put, I'll uh, point out some of the defects on this car just from what I can see. So, the NASCAR race car logo on the B post is, you know, off-center. Uh, it looks like the Cup Series and the SDP 50 years is kind of, like, split, if that makes sense. It's kind of, like, at a weird angle to where it's not lined up properly. Uh, look at that rear gap between that wheel and the wheel well. Yeah, now that we're focused on the wheel... Take a look at the lettering. That lettering is way too big. So, again, take a look at the spoiler, too. The spoiler, super short. I didn't even notice they did that, because this is the first time we've had uh, the PTC mold since 2018. Now, again, black interior, that's good and all and dandy. But, I mean, let's take a little, little closer about why these molds are so bad. Okay? Look at that front end. Look how smooth and just kind of fake that looks, right? It just, it looks so cheap, it just so, it's really nasty looking, right? It just doesn't look good. And not only that, look at the B post. B post is all scuffed up, we can see that there. Which, I mean, Lionel does that a lot. But still, just salt on the wound. And look at, I'm going to show you the A post first, then the C post. I'm going to show you those lines. There's the A post, and there's the C post. Notice that dark line? That is where that decal overlays and it kind of gets onto the other decal. So you can kind of see how it was laid. Here's the thing though. That doesn't happen with the EL modes. Now the EL mode is what I showed you earlier. I'll show you again uh, just in case you know you didn't really catch what the EL mode was. EL is basically, or L, some people say L. EL is like the best mold it can be produced on, right? So, this one here is the PTC. It's not very good. 
But the WLS mold, oh my god, the WLS mold is the worst mold ever. But we're not going to talk about that, we're just talking about PTC. Uh, so yeah, this isn't very good. I mean, it's really not. I hate to, you know, kind of crap on a wave. Because Lionel has not done this in a while. But at the same time, they did it again. And I will say, Lionel mentioned that they will not do this again. So thank goodness they're not doing it again. But what really sucks is this is a good wave. It's a great wave. But the way it was made is what kills it for everybody. I've seen so many people comment, all right, I'm not getting any of these. Uh, this is not worth it. Just wait on the other ones or, you know, make it custom. It'd be better than that, which sadly is probably true. Uh, but yeah, it's just, I pointed out all the defects. You can kind of see for yourself why the PTC mold is so bad. It's just, I mean, again, the fat wheels is what really does it for me. And it's just, it sucks. I mean, it really does. So if you didn't notice the difference between a EL mold or the PTC, uh, there you go. That's kind of how that all works. Hopefully you understand why this wave is so garbage now. It's just, it's not savable. So luckily this is not a exclusive. Therefore, we can get in the Gold Series and have such a, just a much better car. Next up is Chase Elliott's Children Health Care of Atlanta. Now I guess this was ran at Atlanta, probably. Uh, but this was also a early release when it comes to the Gold Series, right? And here's another thing I want to I want you to take a look at, uh, just for the decal wise. Now you may be wondering again with the last one I showed you, it was you know it's like yeah it's got some defects but it's not that bad, right? Decals are still the good quality. They're just kind of misplaced. No, not really. Take a look at that Cup Series logo just for a second. Look how terrible you can barely read. That it says playoffs. That looks like I printed that and threw it on there. That's how bad that is. I have a oh, couple hundred dollar printer sitting right here. That's what I print all my stuff with. It doesn't look good. It really doesn't. Like, you can see the artwork that says auto parts and Napa. Of course, that's drawn on. It's supposed to be like that. It's for the whole children's thing. Uh, but it looks like they did the same thing with the Cup Series. I mean, it's not supposed to be that way, but it is. It's just, it's not very good. So, again, that's another reason why these PTC molds are just the worst. Now, a lot of people are like, oh, I don't really mind it. I mean, that's good for you, you know, but, like, a lot of people, a lot of people care about how they look, such as me. Uh, again, I just don't like how these molds are. They're really crappy, really cheap looking, and uh, it ruins perfectly good paint schemes like this one. Here is Kyle Larson's 911 Tribute. I love this paint scheme. Now... Again, I'm going to point out another thing, uh, another couple of things going on with this mold. Look at the Kyle Larson name rail. I'll show it to you there. Super off center. And look at the winter stickers. You can barely make out that those are winter stickers. And look at the gas can or the gas fuel tank area. That ethanol ring is so far back. It's like these molds are kind of smaller than the actual ones. So it's like, I mean, again, this this mold is it just it's terrible for so many reasons. Now this is not an exclusive, thank goodness. Uh, this will be coming out whenever I don't really know when. But if it's in authentics, then you know hopefully it's soon. But again, a fantastic paint scheme. Of course, you got the stars in there. It's just the same HendrickCars.com with a little bit of yellow, a little bit of playoff markings, and a little bit of stars. Now here is where it sucks for the collectors. Now, okay, this number three is an exclusive, meaning you cannot get it in the Gold Series. You can only get it either, either as a custom, but made by somebody, or you make it yourself, or you get it in the Wave, you know, officially produced by Lionel. Now, on this mold, it looks just so much, like, more worse. Again, if you take a look around that B slash C post area, you can see that black line. That's just how bad the decal is. It doesn't really fit on that mold. It doesn't go over that black. It doesn't cover it up. It just sucks. I mean, it does. But that's that's what really ruins the scheme. And not only that, it ruins the wave itself. It's for any exclusives like this one here. And I think we got one more also that's exclusive. It's just, it doesn't do it. I mean, it's just one of the worst molds ever. Can't stress it enough. I wish Lionel would fix this problem, even though they are. But this is not acceptable. I really wish they would actually... Uh, you know, do a little more. Because they said they was kind of in a rush to uh, do it. Like, in a rush to get this out. Which, here's what I don't understand. Why are you in a rush? 
it's wave 13. You're past wave 12 already. You're done for the year. But you wanted to put another one out, which, you know, it's fine by me. Uh, but apparently, from what I heard, wave 1 through, you know, whatever, is supposed to be a Gen 6 only year slash waves. Now, I don't know if that's true. That's what I've heard. So maybe that kind of led to this getting rushed out a little more and it doesn't get produced as good as it used to or nor as it normally does, I guess. But I don't know. I guess we'll have to uh, kind of take a look at what's coming up in the near future uh, for these next gen waves slash 2022 waves, you know, stuff like that. We'll see. We'll see if we get good stuff. We'll see if we get bad stuff. But this right here, this wave is just it's not a fan uh, or a lot of people are not a fan of it, including myself. Again, the wave is good. Paint schemes are great, but the way it's made trashes it all. I'm pretty sure this one is not an exclusive. This is the sports clips for Rowdy Bush. Now, this is kind of weird uh, <laughs> because, you know, I don't really see uh, sports clips on, you know, 18. Normally, I'll see it on Denny Hamlin, you know, people like that. Maybe Truex. I don't think I've seen it, but I can see it being on Truex. Again, I don't remember if it has. Just the 18 doesn't look like, look right with sports clips. I mean, it really don't. I mean, it's a good scheme. It really is. But... I think there's literally only like two cars I'm getting out of this wave. Again, just because of how bad this thing was produced. Overall, good paint scheme. Just kind of weird that Sports Clips is on Kyle Busch. Oh, this one hurts my soul. Oh, it hurts so much. Okay, so here's why. Again, it's on the private PTC mold. Look at the 48. Look how crooked that is, first of all. Here's the thing. Me being a Alex Bowman super fan, basically... I get all of his Gold Series cars. I get all the 124s that he won, that or wins. I uh, try to get all the liquid colors. I've got them so far. Cost me a freaking arm and a leg, but I got them. And like any of the waves that have been like produced, you know, I'll get those. Here's another one that I, I have to spend money on because you know I'm a I'm a Alex Bowman person. So that does suck. Again, this is the fan vote. This was something that is not released just yet, but it's an early release of the tracks. Uh, I could not find it, so I think that hurts even more. Uh, but yeah, either way, this is Docs Bowman, uh, number 48 ally fan vote. Fantastic paint scheme, terrible mold, just terrible everything, basically. Here's one that's not an exclusive, but it looks great. Um, normally, I do not get Bubba Walls paint schemes if I don't really like them. I'm not a big Bubba fan, but this paint scheme is kind of a like a kind of like a funny ha ha. And kind of a cool paint scheme either way. <clears throat> so, excuse me. So on the side, you can see it's got that black, that white, that red. Looks really nice. It really does. And on the front, you can't really tell. But on the hood, you got Bubba there. You got little hearts around him. So, you know, that's kind of funny. I like that. I like paint schemes like that. Uh, it just kind of has a little bit of fun to the to the paint schemes, to the course. Or not the course, but the tracks. And, you know, just kind of the experience overall. I didn't see this one in person, but I feel like it would have been a uh, a very fun one to see. And I'm kind of looking at that rear Goodyear tire. Correct me if I'm wong. Uh, wong. Correct me if I'm wong. Correct me. Corrects. Oh my god, I can't even talk. Correct me if I am wrong. But look at this. It's like. What was I saying? I don't even remember. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's a cool paint scheme either way. Uh, but this is the also a fan vote. I didn't know that. Uh, but yeah. Pretty cool paint scheme. Uh, we'll be getting this in Gold Series again because it's not a exclusive. This one's going right to my collection, even though I don't really get my walls paint schemes. But again, this is pretty nice. Uh, so we will definitely pick this one up to add to the collection whenever I can actually uh, get everything set up. It was, it'll be a pretty cool little collection video I will have hopefully coming out very soon. This one is exclusive. However, I would like to get this one, but I don't know if I'm going to. This is the Christopher Bell paint scheme. This is the uh, also 911 tribute. Didn't know this is also 911. Uh, but yeah, you can just see decals are garbage. You can see the spoilers garbage. You can see that white, white, what? You can see that yellow outline around the windows. It's just, I mean, man, it's it's a really terrible, just decaling job. I mean, again, it sucks. It really does. I, I hate to, like, complain. But at the same time, I don't really have a choice, you know, it's, it's, it's a really sucky thing. I mean, it's awesome, don't get me wrong, but like, it's just, it's cool to have this wave, but at the same time, the wave was done so sucky, it's just not really worth it, but the paint schemes, 
like a good, you know, eight, nine out of 10, really nice paint scheme. Uh, unfortunately, this is an all an, an authentics line exclusive, meaning you cannot get it anywhere else other than ex, uh, uh, the authentics line. Or if I could talk properly, you can get it made as a custom too. So either way, we'll have to, uh, I might pick it up. I really don't want to, uh, but I mean, I might, who knows? Denny Hamlin with the good old sports clips throwbacks, those two uh, sport clips cars. And here's the thing. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I think these Goodyear tires are wrong. I think it was just one text instead of two. I'm not sure, but like, okay, so. Uh, do, I, do we have any 20? Yeah, we do have 2021. Oh, I want to say that 2021 had the white, just Goodyear text. It didn't have Eagle on it. So technically, these tires are incorrect, if I'm correct, on how these tires are made. So this one has Goodyear Eagle, which is the normal tire, but it's got that white, which is either a throwback tire or it is a rain tire. Now, of course, it's not a rain tire car because uh, this is a throwback car, so it's going to have the throwback wheels. But again, at the same time, I believe these tires are actually incorrect. So it's just another reason to hate uh, the PTC mold because even the tires are goofy and wrong in many cases. Paint scheme, though, you know, it's okay. It's not bad. It'd be a lot better on EL mode, that's for sure. And here is the liquid color, which is actually really nice, but it's a PTC mold, so it's not very good. I actually... I think 2018 we had we had the <laughs> if I could talk that'd be nice. I'm running out of water. I don't. I literally don't have water in my home. Uh, I gotta go get some tomorrow. But I'm dying of thirst. I've been talking so much because I've been doing the diecast haul and doing this on top of it. Doesn't really help. But anyway, uh, yeah, back to uh, this liquid color. We've had it back in 2018 with the Christopher Bell Dewalt, I believe, or was it? Was it Jones? No, it wasn't Bell. It was Jones. What am I talking about? It was uh, Jones. It was the 20 Dewalt. And it was actually supposed to be the liquid color, but it was produced the liquid color finish. But at the same time, it was produced, like, distributed, I will say. It was distributed, taking out to all the Walmarts, Targets, as the liquid color. I don't think anybody found the actual normal standard finish because they mess it up so bad to where pretty much everybody got a liquid color car instead of a plain paint scheme because it was on the PTC mold. Everything was all messed up anyway. Uh, so that was kind of funny. I do have that one actually. I don't know where it is though. Uh, but yeah, sports clips, not a bad paint scheme, not a bad sponsor, uh, but a pretty cool little throwback here. It'd be a lot better again on the EL mold, but I feel like this would have been a beautiful throwback, especially all the Hamlin fans would have been very happy uh, that they finally got a ham one liquid color, and of course it's PTC, so I'm sure they're not very happy about that, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. Uh, still an awesome paint scheme, still an awesome liquid color. That is like a candy apple red, it looks very nice, very sweet. Uh, but yeah, again, unfortunately it's on a PTC, not an EL, uh, EL mold. I kind of said EL, uh, but again, like, I'm really glad the Bowman one is not the liquid color. I would much rather cut off an arm than buy it because like of course i have to buy it because i'm a bowman fan uh but if i was forced to buy a ptc liquid color mold <laughs> i would not be happy dude that'd be that'd be terrible now you may be thinking oh yeah you don't have to i know i don't have to but me being me i have to so this one of course i'm going to skip on even if i see it in stores I don't know. If I see it in stores, I'll be like, yeah, I'll pick it up just because of the liquid color. But it's not a good one. It's, it's I mean, it is easily the worst wave we, wave we've had, the worst liquid colors, the worst paint schemes in terms of in terms of like how it was produced. But again, if this was a EL mold wave, just like all the other ones, it would have been ten out of ten perfect. But no, we gotta have a little rush, and Lionel has to do it wrong. So with that being said, that's going to conclude my preview and honestly i would give it two scales you, you probably already see this coming so on a scale of how it was produced like a three out of ten i mean like it is garbage g big old garbo 
Now, if it was EL mold, a good nine, a good solid nine, maybe even a nine and a half. It was a fantastic wave. You got two exclusives. Uh, you got some tribute paint schemes. I mean, it's it's nice. It's a really nice wave. But again, Lino had to done uh, done goofed on it, so uh, we're just gonna have to deal with it. But with that being said, I believe I'm going to end it out here. Thank you all so much, uh, so much for watching. If I could speak again, and thank you for listening to my rant. Uh, I think it's the first rant wave preview I've ever done, so uh, enjoy that one. Uh, but yeah, once again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoy it, I really do, and I will see you all in the next video.